What's up guys, I'm Zane and today we are going to compare between Final Cut Pro versus Adobe Premiere. And in this video we are going to talk about the features, performance and price. So let's get started. So now first thing let's talk about is the system requirements. Premiere Pro is more flexible, runs on Windows and Mac, though powerful hardware is recommended. On the other hand, Final Cut Pro is Mac exclusive, requires a recent Apple computer with good specs. And now when talking about the price, Premiere Pro subscription starts at $21 per month, while Final Cut Pro is one-time purchase of $300. Now we have finished price and system requirements, let's get into the features. Premiere Pro 2024 provides blazing fast performance up to five times faster timeline, it provides also AI-powered audio tagging for easier organization. You can also use text-based editing directly on the timeline for streamlined workflow. And you have also revamped color grading with simplified settings. On the other hand, Final Cut Pro in the latest version, it has good object tracking for automatic effects on moving objects plus the enhanced social media export with custom templates. They have also improved the performance on Apple Silicon M series chips. And finally, you have the feature of multicam editing with streamlined syncing. Now, when talking about the AI features and the ease of use, Premiere Pro takes the lead here with its auto tagging and potentially more AI powered features to come. While Final Cut has some object tracking capabilities, but lags behind in AI integration. For the ease of use, Final Cut Pro is known for its user-friendly interface and magnetic timeline, making it easier for beginners. But Premiere Pro offers more customization options, but it can have a steeper learning curve. Now let's talk about the reviews and ratings. Both softwares boast high user ratings. Premiere Pro, for example, is praised for its flexibility and powerful tools, while Final Cut is admired for its streamlined workflow and Mac integration. However, some users find Premiere Pro's subscription model a turn off, while other people criticize Final Cut Pro's limited platform support because it only supports Mac. So now, in conclusion, which one is better? Is it Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro? Actually, this depends. Premiere Pro 2024 shines with its blazing speed, AI integration, and flexibility across platforms. But if you are a Mac user who prioritizes ease of use and a one-time purchase, Final Cut Pro might be the better fit. So if you do not have Mac, absolutely you're going to Adobe Premiere Pro without any hesitation. But if you have Mac, here you have the two options. You can use Adobe Premiere or you can use Final Cut. But if I were you, I would choose Final Cut because it has only one time purchase with $300. And if we calculate it, if you want to spend the same amount of money on Adobe Premiere, this will give you about 15 to 16 months of subscription. So put this in mind and be careful when taking your decision. Another point, if you are looking for Adobe integration programs and you are going to use more than Adobe program, you need Adobe Photoshop and other Adobe programs. So in this case, Adobe Premiere Pro will be a good choice. So in the end, you make your own decision. So let me know down below in the description, which one will you choose? And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share, and see you in a new video.